What is up guys and welcome back. So I just did one more thing and that is the border bottom color of this one. So this was um, set to 100%. You can see this is the border that is coming. I just removed it. I just make the transparency to zero and you can see how my website is looking now. So you can see everything is totally up and running and there is no spacing, no gaps. And this looks so amazing. I'm just going to hit cross right now and I'm going to go back and now we're going to design our home page. Okay. So you can see everything is totally cool. If you go to shop page right now, the shop page would be also same we have this right here and shop page also looks great ain't it guys okay so what i'm gonna do right now i'm just gonna go to this right here and let's design our home page i'm gonna go to the edit page right now okay so we want to uh, edit the home page that we have right here and i want to hit edit with elementor so it's gonna take me to the elementor page and then we're gonna design our this whole page so let's wait till this redirects us to the elementor and then we're gonna work so now we have to design this, okay? So first of all, I need to just hit add a new section and I need a full width, okay? Here we have the new section, okay? The first thing that I need is the image. So I'm just gonna go to unsplash.com to see the image that we have. So the images should be um, like um, the background image and it should be a store looking website, a store looking image. We have, we are going to apply um, that thing. So I need, I just need um, a store, so. I'll just see the store pictures that we have right here to see what matches us. Um, I think this one looks great. Okay, um, this one or this one. This one is simple, decent, and great. So I'm just going to go with this one right here. And you can see this is being downloaded. So after this is done, I have to just open this up in the Photoshop so that I can just edit it. Okay, and then after when I'm done with this, I'm just going to work more. So um, let's just add a new one. Okay, you can press Control N, and then you have to come here and you have to enter like um, 1280 multiply by 720. Okay, and then you have to hit OK. So you can see this is right here. Okay, and now what I want to do, I want to just open that up, this image up, and I want to bring it and drop it right here. So you can see this should be right here, and then you have to upload it. Make sure that you resize it with Photoshop and then you upload it. So I'm just going to bring it right here, and then I'm going to make it a lot more bigger. Okay, and then I have to hit enter. So um, then I have to just make it a bit more above. Okay, it looks so super cool. I'm just gonna save it right now and I'm gonna save it here in the CWPC and that is going to be a PNG. And also it is going to be um, Essex store header, okay? Um, I'm going to hit save right now and this should be saved. I'm going to open this up. Let's just open this. Let's just come here and let's select the background image. So I want to select this edit section. I want to go to style and I want to go to the background. So my background is classic. Okay. Let's just double click here. Let's just click here and let's select upload file. So I'm going to select the file. I want to go to desktop, the CWPC and in here it should be S6. Okay. This should be here. This is the S6 header that we have right now. Um, where it is, this is being uploaded right here. Hey, hello, please come here. It will be, um, coming here when it is done. So let's wait. And so here we go. You can see this is right here. I'm just going to hit insert media and you can see the media should be inserted right now. Um, this is right here. Okay. Um, when this will be done, the image will be also coming in the background. What I have to do, I need to select the position. So my position should be default. The attachment should be fixed and the size should be cover. Okay. Um, what I want to do right now, I want to go to the layout and the content height should be minimum height so the minimum height is going to be 400 pixel 400 pixel looks cool um, we can also go with 558 pixel i think this much looks okay okay what i want to do right now i want to apply the overlay so i'm going to go to overlay and i want to select the background type so let's double click let's just select the color so color is going to be um full black cool okay i want to also increase the opacity of this so um it looks cool okay what i want to do right now um i want to just click here to see everything looks amazing yes it is looking good okay what i want to do right now i want to add a call to action or a heading so um i want to go to heading i want to drag it and drop it right here and this is going to be the heading so i want to add um boost door okay um, this is right here. Um, I want to go to make it center. Okay, let's just double click here. Um, let's just go to style. Let's just come here and let's select it to be white. 
cool. Okay, I want to select the typography to be on, and I want to increase the size. So this is boost store. I want the family to be open sans. I want the weight to be 300. Cool. Um, the transformation should be uppercase. So this is full boost store like this. So you can name your company here. Okay, and then we have the line height. So you don't have to work with this a lot. Okay, everything looks cool. Everything looks amazing. And now I want to add a call to action down below. So I want to, I want this right here. I want a button. So let's just drag it and drop it right here. This is the button. I want to make it center. I want to go to the link. So the link is going to take me to the shop page. So I'm just going to add shop. Okay, um, you guys already know about the link that you have to add a backslash and then it will be the backslash of this. Whether you are in the page section, you add a backslash, it will take you to the main domain name. Okay, and then we have the shop. So it's going to be like the backslash means the domain name here and the backslash and then the shop name. Okay, so instead of writing the whole domain name, you can write it like this. I want to go to style um, and I want to design this uh, one right here. So my background color is should be um, the fully transparent. Okay, um, I need the text color. This is cool. Um, I also want the t t typography. So I want, it, I want it to be on. Okay, I want to go down. I don't want the border type. So border type is going to be solid. Okay, and that will be one pixel from all the sides. So you can see this is giving the all the sides here. So you guys al already know about it. Um, I want to give the radius. So the radius is going to be um, 25. You, you can see how it is. So I need some spacing to the top. So I want to go to advance and I want to go to margin. So the margin should be 25. Okay, no, 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 no. Let's just come here. Let's just come here and let's add to 20. Okay, I need it to be 50. 50 looks cool. Okay, Um. yes. Let's just click here. I need to give it to be like um, 25, 30, 35, cool. Everything looks amazing and now we are totally done with this click me. Okay, I wanna come here, I want to just change the click me to be like um, C, our shop, all products. Okay, so you can um, just pretty well add any of the button right here. That's going to be like see the sh um, the sale products or like all products or something like that. It's it, You can also just make them down. Like you can also add an ID here and that will be like if the button person clicks here, he will be taken down to your whole shop. Okay. I want to go to style right here. And everything looks pretty well. Okay. Um, what I want to do right now, I want I need the hover effect. So let's come here to hover. And on hover, um, the background color would be black. Cool. Um, we can also make it blue. Blue looks cool. I need it to be a little bit transparent so that it gives effect. Okay, cool. I need it to be full blue. Cool. This looks amazing. Okay, um, everything is done here. The border color. So border color would be transparent then. Okay, if we bring the mouse. Okay, this looks super awesome. Okay, um, what I want to do right now, um, I can also go with the animation that um, it would be crow. If I just bring my mouse here, you can see how it's changing. So this looks amazing as well. Now I'm going to hit save right now and you can see that I am totally done with this. So you can see that we have designed the header and now the main thing starts and that is we have to work with the products. We have to show some products down below so our website looks amazing and great. In the next video, we'll be doing this and we also need the pro version. So I'm going to tell you how you can get the pro version in order to add the product. So if you just come here, you can see that we cannot add the products right from here. We have to add a plug in, or we have to add a pro version in order to get the pro uh, in order to add that. So in the next video, I'll show you how can you do that. So stay tuned guys and